Hey, what's up, guys? Little update on the uh, MCD uh, W5 Ultimate. Uh, I did put the 71 Supreme in there. It is a tight fit, let me tell you. Oh, kind of getting some glare there. Um, I did install the uh, basher bar, the Taylor basher bar. Uh, bolts on really easy, gives a little bit more height. Uh, and I mean, it barely fits. It's a little bit on there, but not much. Um, it's just kind of test fit. I still got to put the gear on and all that stuff, the pinion gear. Um, and in the mail, I did get the, uh, the spur gear I got to do, 62 spur gear. So, and then I got to figure out which gear I'm going to run on there. <clears throat> uh, but I really like the, uh, the all black, uh, Supreme with the gold. I think it turned out good. And then the the black uh, motor plate there. Sorry for the glare. This thing right there keeps glaring it. So we'll see how it fits with the body and all that stuff on there. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a tight fit, but it fits. I just, the only thing I gotta see about the, the gear, it looks like it might be uh, pretty close to, maybe not the gas tank, cause it's gonna sit back pretty far on there. So we'll see. But like I said, I gotta take out the uh, center diff and all that. Also, I did uh, put the heavy duty springs on there all the way around. And then I don't think I showed it with all, with all four of the uh, ALX Mad Dogs. Uh, that definitely gives a little bit wider stance, a little meaner look. So, also, I just want to show you guys. Uh, Amazon has these on there. I think they're like twenty, I don't know, twenty-two to twenty-four bucks. Uh, Twelve hundred twenty-five piece set. Uh, they go from M2 to M5, and they're, uh, the biggest, they go to, like, M5 by 20. Uh, so I got these ones, these are the head caps. Uh, I got these ones, the flat heads. And then I got these ones. The, the regular socket head ones. So, but they all go the same thing, M2 to M5. So, pretty nice little sets, you know. You can get like a combo deal where they'll where you save a little bit if you buy all three. Uh, but nice to have for uh, road box and so forth. But what's nice about them, they come with the small ones like for servo uh, screws and stuff. Um, also, I did get a uh, 29 gear for the low C5T. Because uh, right now I'm running 2850. And I think it, it needs a higher gear for the way I drive. Like it's very violent out of the bottom. Uh, so I want a little bit more top on there. So I'm only going up one. So it'll be $29.50. So we'll see how that goes. And then also, um, <clears throat> I think like a week ago, I, don't know, I didn't, I, it was on there, but I didn't show it. Uh, Mike Taylor commented, commented uh, or reached out to me on a uh, messenger. Um, when Rob picked out all these uh, color schemes for the uh, outlaw, you know, like he called it stinky pink or whatever. He had um, DCRR, um, the guy that makes the bash bars out in the UK. Uh, he was doing one to kind of match the color scheme. So I did put it on. I'm not a huge fan of this, the way it looks. Like it's too high for my liking. Um, but there it is. So I got a good price on it, so I figured I'd pick it up like you did, you know, to help Mike out or whatever. Um, so there that is on there. Uh, but I will say, despite what it looks like or whatever, it will definitely uh, protect pretty darn good. Uh, this thing is made like a tank, this bar. So I decided to put it on there, and then this way, what I'm going to do... Um, this is the regular, uh, BDR bash bar. Uh, and then I got a Diab, uh, Diablo one. So I'm going to put the Diablo one on this because you can see it's, it's pretty close there. It's not touching, but it's close. So it'll give a little more height. And then I'll put this one on my, my 5T. Help a little protection of the pipe or whatever. So they'll all get used. But see... I mean, I think the color scheme looks good, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on there. Um, 
So, but if you guys are thinking about it, it is a very nice uh, bash bar. It's just a matter of, you know, preference style. But it definitely uh, will protect it, um, you know. So, anyways, so let me know what you guys think of this. I like the uh, the black and the gold. I think it looks good. Uh, like I said, I'm going to change the, uh, the bead locks. I'm going to get black ones or something. These are just the gray ones. I had the heavy-duty uh, DDM ones. Uh, what else did I pick up? Oh, nothing big, but I picked up a... Uh, Damn, the glare. Uh, Taylor RC uh, billet gas cap. I did pick that up. Uh, what else did I? Uh, just some dry pins, some extra dry pins. Uh, these are for the BRP um, hubs for the pins because I got a couple of the O rings that ripped out of my other one. Um, the only thing I'm not sure, I don't know if I'm going to put this on there or not. It's going to be kind of a pain to butt with this. But. I don't know. I guess I could put it on there. Might throw it off a little bit. I originally had it on there, but I took it off. But, uh, yeah, just a little update. Nothing crazy. Um, like I said, maybe I'll start uh, ripping out the diff on this thing. Um, but once again, I mean, the motor went in really easy with that motor play. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool design. You know, that motor play bolts onto the engine first. So... But yeah, it looks good. I like the way it looks. And then that bash bar looks pretty cool. How it's made into the uh, roll cage. Uh, and they give you the hardware. You just use the, the front Phillips like the normal ones. But then they give you uh, Allen's with nuts for the rear. So. So yeah, once I get the spur in there. And then I'll do that and put the exhaust and stuff. But I still got to put the, all the radio uh, servos in and everything. But like I said, just a little update. Um, yeah, that's about it. And, uh, you know, like I said, I got this, but Mike did reach out to me and, you know, I figured I'd help him out and it does, it does match pretty good. So, but you could see, I mean, definitely will protect it. It's got this crossbar here too, where the, the BDR, uh, doesn't, um, you know, just two different little designs, I guess. So, but let me know what you guys think, you know little different style but it seems like a lot of people in the uk do have these uh uh dcrr bars uh it's drive crash uh repair repeat so there you guys can see um but yeah that's about it but uh also like i said these are uh on amazon uh you could type in the numbers or whatever there you go but I think it was uh, like 20 something bucks for each of them. But you know, it's a 1225 piece set, but it also comes with um, washers and nuts and stuff. So it's a nice little kit. And like I said, I got the two gears here for the MCD. So I might start with the big one first and then we'll see how this goes. I think it just feels like it needs a little bit more top. It's pretty violent on the bottom. And like I said, this is a uh, Mike ordered this for me from Cardinal and had it sent here. I got that uh, last week or whatever. So, started doing that. Started putting the servos in there. I got to get a kill switch. Uh, you know, got to do the fuel lines so forth. But, uh, you know, like I said, this is going to be a winter build. But I, I'm going to start on it now, here and there. Still need to find a painter. So, if any of you guys got uh, some good painters or whatever. I know uh, the guy that did uh, Crucial, Crucial's uh, MCDs. He also did Big John D's. So I might go with him. Uh, the only problem, I think he's in uh, like Boston or, you know, whatever, somewhere over there. Uh, it's just the shipping kills you. So so I'm still looking into that. I'm no rush on that. But I do have a, a paint scheme I'm thinking about. I just don't know which way I want to do it. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to have gold in it regardless. Kind of like the MCD gold. So... I think that'll look good with the uh, with the black engine, you know, so forth. But uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, I don't know. It's been raining here, and then we had a little family trip. We went to uh, indoor water park, so I haven't really done uh, too much. Um, last thing I had out was this, and uh, what else did I have out? Oh, my uh, 65 Baja. So, so that's about it, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, you know, we're getting there. All right, guys, have a good one.